In today's digitally driven world, where everything from your personal data to critical infrastructure is managed through computers and networks, security is of utmost importance. Hackers and cyber criminals are always looking for ways to gain unauthorized access to your personal information, and they often use sophisticated techniques to do so. One approach that has actually gained popularity in recent years for its ability to thwart even the most advanced cyber attacks is the use of air gap technology. This is the Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to be talking about air gap technology, how you can start using it now in your digital preparedness plans, and then we're going to be looking at the IOSAFE Solo G3 Secure to see how well air gap technology works in the real world. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, please take a moment to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. So let's start out by talking about what air gap technology actually is. Air gap technology is a security measure that physically isolates a computer or network from other devices or networks that are connected to the internet or other external networks. The basic principle is that if a computer or network is not connected to any external network, then it should be impossible for an attacker to gain access to it from the outside. This is achieved by using physical barriers such as unplugging network cables, removing wireless cards, or even building a separate room or building to house the computer or network. Now that you kind of understand the concept of this, let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of this type of technology. So first off, let's talk about the pros. Air gap technology offers the highest level of security because it physically isolates the system from external networks making it virtually impossible for hackers to gain access to it. Now, even if a hacker manages to breach the perimeter defenses and gain access to other systems on the network, they still would not be able to reach the air gap system. One of the primary reasons for the rise in cyber attacks is the proliferation of malware. However, with air gap technology, the threat of malware is significantly reduced since there is no connection to the internet or other external networks, which is the primary source of malware infections. Another positive is that air gap technology also ensures the highest level of privacy and confidentiality because there is no way for any external entity to access the system or network. This makes it ideal for managing sensitive information such as financial data, personal information, or trade secrets, if this is something that you're wanting to secure. And finally, air gap technology also helps reduce the risk of insider threats, meaning for either businesses or at home that someone has infiltrated your area, which is often more difficult to detect and prevent, but by physically isolating the system or network, it is virtually impossible for an insider to gain unauthorized access and exfiltrate your sensitive information. So those were the pros. Now let's look at some of the cons of air gap technology. Well, one of the biggest disadvantages of air gap technology is its limited accessibility. Now, since the system or your network is physically isolated, it can be challenging to access it or manage it remotely. This can be a significant challenge if you have air gap devices that are in multiple locations. Another disadvantage of air gap technology is the increased costs associated with building and maintaining a physically isolated system or network. This can include the cost of additional hardware, software, and maintenance, as well as the cost of building a separate room or building to house the system or network if that's something that you wish to look into. However, for home systems, this might be a bit overkill. Finally, 
air gap technology can also limit the functionality of the system or network. For example, if a computer is air gapped, that means that it cannot access the internet or other external networks, which can limit its ability to access information or perform certain actions. Also, you would have to manually search for and install updates to keep the devices protected as well. Now, before we move on, I want to give a huge thanks to IOSAFE for providing me with the IOSAFE Solo G3 Secure to review. Now, jumping right into it, the IOSAFE Solo G3 Secure is a NAS device. And if you don't know what a NAS is, I recommend taking a look at my previous video about another IOSAFE NAS device by clicking the card above after you watch this video. But essentially, it is a network accessible storage device. The only difference here is that this is more of a accessible storage device, as this does not require network accessibility to use due to it utilizing air gap technology. So after fumbling around with the box for a bit, we get it opened up and we can take a look and see uh, what's inside. So first off, we have this Y cable. So this is just in case the cable that it comes with is not enough to power the device. This additional Y cable will be able to power the device if you plug it into another USB port, which I'll show you later. It also comes with the quick start guide. Here we're just opening it up. It has a introduction and it has ways to install the application that also comes with the device needed to unlock it. So now we carefully take the device out. And here is the IOSAFE Solo G3 Secure. It's a relatively small device as you can see here. And at first glance, there's really not too much to look at. It has one USB 3.0 port and already comes with two terabytes of storage space on the device. Now, like the other IOSAFE device that I've reviewed, which again, you can go take a look at after this one. Uh, this one also states that it is waterproof and fireproof in the manual stating that it can protect your data while being fully submersed underwater for up to 72 hours and in temperatures up to 1550 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. So about now I'm beginning to plug things into my computer and since there's only one connection, it's pretty simple to just plug and play. One end goes into the device and the other end goes into any USB port on your computer. Now it's important to note that again, this is air gap technology so the only reason you're actually connecting it to your computer is to unlock it and transfer data over. Afterwards, you simply unplug the device and no other power is needed. So here I'm installing that Y cable that I was talking about earlier, which all you do is you plug the uh, one USB into the Y cable and then plug in those two into your computer which will give the device additional power that it needs in case that it's not working for whatever reason. Now, with that being said, here's actually one important flaw that I've seen with the device so far, which is this is a pretty simple device. And because it's a pretty simple device, there weren't actually any lights or anything to confirm that the device was on and operational. Eventually, I actually figured out that I didn't need the Y cable and I was able to move on to the next step, which is installing the partner application on my phone, which we'll go over now, but I just wanted you to be aware that this device doesn't have any lights or anything that I saw when you plug in the device into your computer. Now to actually install the application, there's actually a QR code on the instructions that you can scan with your camera to take you over to the Play Store or Apple Store in order to install the secure data application, which is pretty simple enough. Now, once it's installed, it does use your device's Bluetooth and location permissions in order to detect where the Solo G3 is, just to make sure that it's the correct one. 
Now, I normally have these permissions on only when the app is running, and you can set those and turn those off when needed if you want to. Once you're in the application, you have to put in the device ID, and once you put that in, it'll detect the correct device and allow you to access the setup menu, where you will have access to a bunch of settings. I'm not going to go over all of the settings, but some of the important ones that you have access to are creating a password for the device, enabling read-write access, and even things like biometric authentication and de unlocking the device with an Apple Watch. So here on my MacBook Pro, you can actually see how the device looks when it's plugged in, where it says the G3 Secure, and it also includes a few digital versions of the manuals. If this were your device, once you unlock Read Write Access, this is also where you would be able to simply drag and drop items from your computer over to the device, then either lock it with the application or by simply unplugging it from your computer to make it secure. So to kind of wrap up this review, let's talk about one of the most important things to look at, the cost. So the Solo G3 Secure is about $499 US for the two terabyte version, which is the one that I'm currently reviewing. The four terabyte version will run you about $649 US and comparing that to the one that I have reviewed before, which is the IOSafe 220 Plus, that one was $1,647 US for the 8TB version. The G3 Secure is honestly much more affordable, just as secure, and even keeps the fireproof and waterproof capability. And in case it matters, it, it's also much more lightweight than the 220 Plus, which could be pretty important depending on who's buying it. Looking at the pros of the device, I can say that with it being fire and waterproof, that's a big plus. And the fact that it does have the air gap capability at $500 is pretty decent. Now with that being said, it took me a person that has been in the information technology field for about a decade and a half about an hour to set up the device and that's only because of again one of the flaws that I had with it was that it had no light to confirm or deny that the device was operational. Now I will admit this could be chalked up to sheer user error but I feel like a small LED would have been great to at least see if the device is on or not. Another con that I do have with the device is that Hard drives do fail over time, and because this isn't necessarily a NAS device, you can't really tell if a hard drive is failing or not by looking at the device like a normal NAS. Now, you can control certain aspects of the drives through the app, but that's mostly just formatting the drive through the app in case that you are installing a new hard drive into it. However, certain third-party tools that you can install onto your Mac or your Windows operating system computer can help with assessing the health of the drive. Overall, to put it pretty simply, I would personally recommend the IOSafe Solo G3 Secure even over the 220 Plus as a starter for your digital preparedness, but do remember that those are two pretty different devices. If you would like to order one, check out the link in the description, and again, a big thanks to IOSafe for providing me with the device to review. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay prepared more digital prepping to come.